Okay, let's have a class. And uh, we will have this week talk about enumeration bacteria. So you will see the fact sheets. Um, it's talk about pore plating, uh, spread plating, and also we have a, a quiz, dilution quiz. We'll be sending it out later on. So it will have fun this week, which we really to see how many bacteria um, on the agar plates. Okay, so we want to do numeration of bacteria culture. Now basically this is in bros. Okay, so what we wanted to do is there is a two methods basically in the lab can do the numeration of bacterial culture, which is spread plating and the pore plating. Uh, the second one is called pore plating. Uh, so what's the difference between that? Spread plating, which means the agar you already made it. You put a bacteria there, then using spread to spread. And the poor plating, the agar media has not been made, and you add a bacteria, you add agar media at the same time, then when it's solidified, after incubation, you will see the colony. So basically you could see spread plating, which is saves, uh, not saves, really need an extra day to prepare an agar. And the pore plating, you could do them in the same day, okay? So that's a basic information. Now, now we're gonna talk about that. So I have a bacterial broth. So let's say an E. coli. It's too hot. Uh, grow at, let's say E. coli. Grow at 35 degrees Celsius, 24 hours. Okay, I'm going to do the enumeration. So lots of you will think about. I have other plates. And I'm going to add 0.1 ml from the bros, the E. coli bros, onto the other. Now, by the way, 0.1 ml equals 100 microliter, which is we can use pipettes to add it. Okay? Now, there's gonna be a problem. If you do like that, what's gonna happen? This place will be filled with the whole cluster after incubation. Of course, this place have to go 35 degrees Celsius, 24 hour incubation. They will all cluster. So we cannot count because it's too many. Can you guess how many bacteria there? It will be roughly 10 to the 8 cells per ml. So you cannot do like that. Because at the end of the day, what we want, instead of we have those cluster, we want our other plates will have an individual colony there. <coughs> And those individual colony, we call it CFU. What it stands for is colony forming unit. And on the other plates, we don't want that too many. We don't want that too less. If too many, which means it may be too numerable numerical to count so we call it TNTC if it is too less what's going to happen it may from cross contamination because the bacterial culture colony may not be the one you did it may come from somewhere else so, the CFU on the other plates, there is a legal zone. The legal zone is somehow between 30 to 300 CFU. 
So your count is between 30 to 300, which is we can use the plates. Okay, in order to reach this level, what we should do? This is something you learned in your chemistry lab already. It's called Syria dilution. And the, in the microbiology area, there are basically two types of Syria dilution. Number one is we call it a tenfold. Know how to do it? I'll give you an example. We're going to prepare three 9.0 ml neutron broth. Usually we do 0.1% neutron broth. Okay. How we do it? Each 9.0 ml. So from the original broth, we gonna add 1.0 ml into the first one. And then we mix it very well. And then we add 1.0 ml, go to the second dilution tube and we mix them very well. And then the last one we absorb 1.0 ml onto the third tube and we also mix them very well. So here comes the first question. What is the dilution factor of the tube? The first one will be 10 to the 1, 10 to the 2, and 10 to the 3. This is the dilution factor. of tube. Okay, now what happened is we have these agar plates. These agar plates, how many we added? We gonna add is 0 0.1 ml. So the final dilution factor of uh, on the plates is actually 10 times more than that. So it becomes 10 to the 2, 10 to the 3, and 10 to the 4. OK? That is a dilution factor of plate. And I gave you an example. Let's say we do the spread plating. And after plating, we incubate 35 degrees Celsius 24 hour. OK, then what, what we find? We find that this colony is a lot, huge. Then we manually counted all those colonies. We find it's 310. And the second plate, what we find, the colony is about 50. OK? And this, oh, sorry, it should be of the door. Sorry. Um, in this place, we find it's very little, maybe like five. And in here, we find a lot, huge. It's about 400. So which plates we should use? This is above the legal zone. Too many to count. ENTC. This is too little. Less than 30. That means it could come from the cross-contamination. So which plates we would use? We should pick the plates have 50. Okay, this is the plates we use, and this is the final dilution factor. So how many bacteria there? It is 50 multiplied by 10 to the 3 equals 5 multiplied by 10 to the 4 CFU per ml. 
That is do the calculation. Okay, that's the first methods we do. Second methods, instead of we were using nine point zero ml, zero point one percent neutron blast, we gonna use nine point nine ml. That's what you're gonna do today. <coughs> So still three, three tubes. What we have is 9.9 ml, 0.1% neutron bronze. And the, the original tube is right here. This is the original one. So what we do, we adding 0.1 ml go to the first one. Then we mix them very well. Then we add 0.1 ml in, go to the second tube, we mix them very well, and then we using 0.1 ml go to the third tube, we mix them very well. And then later on, we are same adding 0.1 ml onto the other place. So what is the dilution factor of the tube? It is 10 to the 3, 10 to the 5. Sorry. Uh, the dilution factor is 10 to the 2, 10 to the 4, and 10 to the 6. So since we are adding 0.1 ml onto the agar plates, so what is the final dilution factor of the agar plates? It is 10 to the 3, 10 to the 5, and 10 to the 7. Okay, so that is a uh, hundredfold CR real dilution. Uh, this is what we talked about before, it's a tenfold CR real dilution. Now, a more complicated way is in the real life, that could be happen is a combination, which means tenfold and a hundredfold could be a combination, then it's completely test your mass. So we're not gonna do that complicated, so we make your life easy, we start from the simplest one to do and move from a difficult one, okay? So what we go, what we gonna do, do today? Today's lab work. Okay, everybody will grab three 0.1% neutron blast cube. And everybody will also get three agar plates. And go to the front desk, get a 35 degrees Celsius, 40 hour growth E. coli. It's a bross. Let's make it easy. Three plates, right here, three dilution tubes. We'll make your life easy, okay? Three dilution tubes for everybody. Let's see right here, you, you get it. And go to the front desk, get you E. coli bros. Okay, now what are we gonna do? First thing first. We're gonna do a serial dilution. Okay. You have all these three tubes. So we make sure you understand. Three tube. Every tube already containing is 9.9 .9 ml, 0.1% neutron bros. So we make sure you understand it like, like this. Okay, you label them. One, two, three. And you label the dilution factor on the tube. The first one, 10 to the two. 10 to the four, and 10 to the six. This is the first thing. Then you do shear real dilution. Using pipettes, 
add 100 microliter equals 0 0.1 ml onto the first tube and mix them very well. Okay, then adding 0 0.1 ml equals 100 microliter go to the second tube and mix them very well. Then you go to the last one, 0 0.1 ml, that is 100 microliter, go to the last tube and mix them very well. How you mix them very well? Shake 15 seconds. Okay, now this tube already. Then you have other place. Okay, all these other plates, first thing is the label. How you label? Batch number, initial bacteria, and the final dilution factor of the plates. Now remember, we were adding 0 0.1 ml. So the final dilution factor will be 10 times more than the tube dilution. So the corresponding to the 10 to the second dilution tube, this will be 10 to the three. And the second one, it will be 10 to the five. And the last one, it will be 10 to the seven. Okay, you label them first. Then after you do, we have to make sure you understand. When we do a CNRIA dilution, you need to change <laughs> pipette tips every cube. But when you are adding the solution onto the agar media, you always from highest to lowest dilution. Go this direction. And you only need one pipette tips. Okay, so the first one, 0 0.1 ml. Same thing, same one, 0 0.1 ml. Then, 0 0.1 ml. Okay, from high to lowest dilution. Why? Because you already diluted 10 to the 6. You added, and then you add 10 to the 4th into the other plates. Even you carry a little bit of bacteria there, it's not going to affect your results. Because you carry a very minimum. Okay, the same thing from 10 to the 4th to 10 to the 2nd, you can use the same tips. So after you add it, what you're going to do? We will do a spreader. Same thing, only one spreader. From high to lowest dilution. So then you spread. Okay, I'll show you how to do it. Then you spread. After spread, you gave these all to PA, we will incubate 35 degrees Celsius, 24 hours. We will count the colony on Thursday. Then we'll talk, go back, talk about this calculation. Is that clear? So let's do first, then we figure out the mass. Better than we just talk. Okay? So, same as before, I want to show you how we're going to do this. Um, I need some gloves, large gloves. How we're going to do this. So, I want everybody go to right here. I'm going to show you how we're going to do the dilution. Okay.
very good. You need a tips. It's not difficult to do, but I want everybody have a chance to practice. First thing for us to wear gloves. Do you have a large one, Ryan? It's too small. See, it's broken. Excuse me, do you have a large gloves? I'm not seeing any large one right there. You don't have a large one? So what is the smaller one? It's too... Oh, it's very tight. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, let's see. So, first thing, wear gloves, and then we're going to have to do the label. Okay, that's the first two steps we do. Uh, we want to make sure... Uh, we want to make sure that life is easy, so we label these tubes first. Label number one, 10 to the second. Label number two, 10 to the fourth. And the label number three, 10 to the six. Okay, right here. Now we're gonna label the agar plates and make sure this is the agar plates is dry. So you use paper towel to clean the back. Okay, now we're going to label them. Will be bench number, initial E. coli, and this will be 10 to the 3, because corresponding to the tube, it will be 10 times more than the tube dilution. And I will show you when I do this, explain to you what's happening. 10 to the 5, and the last one, bench number, initial, it will be 10 to the 7. Okay, so everything is ready. We still want to use Bunsen burner. So do you have a hockey stick? Good. Turn it on. So now let's do the dilution first. What? <laughs> I would just suggest you uh, just take this one. Take it out. Can you take it? Um, okay, let's see. Let's see. Uh, move the microscope a little. On the other side. We'll see what it is. So, when you have this carrot tube, make sure you shake it first. Precipitation sediment at the bottom. At the bottom, so shake it. Okay, 15 seconds. Now we do serial dilution. How we do it? Make sure this pipette's at 100. Uh, don't just take it. Some are at 65, some at 300, and make sure it's at 100. Okay, now we start to do this needs right here, okay? One ml, 0 0.1 ml, 100 microliter. Then go the first, first one. Okay. Now, right, we need another bottle, which is for uh, tips, the trash of the tips. Do you have it? Yeah, we can use that one. Thank you very much. We need a bottle for the tips. Okay. When we finish this, make sure you shake it very well. About 15 seconds. 
Then we go right here. Flame. 0.1 ml. So you go the second tube. See, you have to change the tips every time. Okay, shake 15 seconds. And then the last one will be 0.1 ml, which is 100 microliter, go to the last tube. And this you shake very well. Now, at this moment, the dilution is 10 to the second, 10 to the fourth, and 10 to the sixth. Because what I'm adding is 0.1 ml onto the agar plates. Therefore, the final dilution factor will be 10 times more than the tube dilution. In other words, if I'm adding 1 ml, let's say I'm not adding 100 microliter, I'm adding 1 ml. Therefore, the plates and the tubes will be the same. So right now, I'm adding 100 microliter. That's why the dilution factor of the plates is 10 times more than the tube. OK, now, when you end it, you only need one tips from high to lowest dilution. So let's do it. That's the first one. Second one. And the last one is right here. That's what I'm saying, you only need one tips. Because even you carry on a little bit of bacteria, it does not matter. Now let's do spread the plating. What is spread plating? This is a spreader, plastic spreader, which is already being sterilized. Now at this moment, this could be turned off. And you only need one from high to lowest dilution. So what we do, we took it out, we spread it like this. Back and forth a couple, couple of times when it's average spread on the surface. This agar is not very good. The second one, spread very gentle like this. Okay, try to spread as evenly as possible because we want to let it form in the bacterial colony and averagely spread. Otherwise, you're going to get lots of cluster. So like this. See, that's broken, not good. Okay, then that's done. This will be stay on the bench about three to five minutes. Then you flip it over, give to TA, we'll do the incubation. We always incubate it like this because there's a condensation. If you do this, the moisture will be on the top. It will be bothering the results. So we always do this. Okay, that's my results. We'll see what it looks like. So very simple. Everybody come in to get one tubes and three, one tubes of bacterial blots and three tubes of dilution.